Cyberpunk 2077 has been rated M by the MSRB for blood and gore, intense violence, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, and the use of drugs and alcohol. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is brought to you in part by The Seventh Age Dystopia by Rick Hines. Magic has exploded back into the world, and the power previously only in the hands of secretive societies has been laid bare for the entire world to see. After the initial shock, businesses did the expected. They found a way to turn magic into profit. Go to Amazon.com for your copy today. Good morning, Night City! Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30! Ten out of Haywood! Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed! Cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo! Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid! While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. Marine Bar. Yo, V. I need you to swipe some scrolls. Should be pretty spicy. Client's feeling generous, too. What do you say? Intel attached. Don't make me beg. Okay, it's a thievery gig. Uh, so there's this councilman, Ava Cole. By day, she's a living nightmare for greedy corporates, pointing the finger on abuse, digging on problematic witnesses. Dishing out fees and penalties and whatever, and by night she fucks like a fucking cat in heat with whomever lands on the deck of her yacht, docked down by the marina. I'd act more surprised, but I ain't. I mean, you gotta let out all that stress somehow, right? So anyway, one of these corpos that's got its toes stamped on, uh, stomped on once footage of these wet and wild orgy fuckfests. They got in mind a joint screening with the councilwoman will help her see the light of a more pro-business attitude. I send you the yacht name and cords. You fetch the footage. Oh, and I wouldn't sit on any of the furniture if I were you. One last thing. There's more eddies to be made if you do this on the quiet. Okay, so this is a stealth job. All right. Anyone who makes an Eddie more than a garbage collector. Okay. So what they're saying is, I could steal that car if I wanted. Everything's coming in la late. Okay, what do we got? Okay, basic security guards. All right. Uh. Alrighty. These are some nice cards. Well, except the one that's sunken into the pavement like this. Break in. Oh, this one's for sale. You know what? Yes, okay, thank you. 
I will I will buy that one. And no, I'm not ignoring the job. I'm just looking around. Sig just came in saying you bought the wheels preem. Hope you get some good mileage out of it. Yeah, no, that's a pretty car. Anyway. to explain Okay. No, I haven't heard anything. We lost contact with him a few days ago. We don't plan to... Uh-huh. Understood. I'll inform his family.
Great. I knew you'd do me proud. The client's happy. He says the Council of Cold recordings are very interesting. Thanks, V. Gig's done. The Frolics of Councilwoman Cole. You and balls this up. Clients happy, so am I. Means you just earned yourself a fat bonus. Check the drop point. All right. Not that I don't mind the radio, it's just that was a little loud. Now I'm going to be very careful driving this car. For those of you who started out as a street kid in your playthrough, this is the car that you were sent to steal, by the way. Well, maybe not this exact car, but, you know, this is the model. It is immediate it is instantly loose and hard to control. And it accelerates like a race car. There of course is my bike. It's very hard not to oversteer this car. Did that or did not? that not say R collect rewards. There we go. Now let's uh, let's get rid of the junk. And once again, do I want to just go meet Takamura? You know what? Let's just go meet Takamura. Come on. Oh good, graphics glitch. Check this out, man, we've got no floor. 
the ground is just gone and I missed my turn because of it. Hard to tell where the road is when, you know, there's no ground. That's something that's also happened a lot since the last update. I've been getting a lot more graphics glitches. It's like, what the hell, man? You guys were doing so well, and then this last update really bitched it up. Christ Jesus on a sidecar. Well, at least I can't just walk into it. Thing is, until this thing recognizes... Oh, look! Come on. It's definitely that door. Call elevator disabled. Really? You know, 200 and however many episodes and absolutely none of these problems, and now it suddenly happens right after the last update. And that's going to do it for this session of Cyberpunk 2077. If you like what you saw, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you've already liked two or three of my other videos. You know you like my content. It helps me out. You cost you nothing. Be safe, guys, and I will see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.